I'm here at Albany, New York, and right behind me is one of the most amazing buildings I've ever seen. It is one of the most amazing buildings ever built and in North America, one of a kind and really in the world. And I want you to see this and why that is up close. As you can see, this building, just the front is right at about 200 yards long twice the length of a football field with the most massive columns in fact this is the longest colonnade one of the longest ones in the world but definitely in uh, this continent and these columns are so massive that when you stand close to one, you just can't actually believe the size. It's very difficult to see the scale of this on a camera lens because there's always a distortion. But as we approach this, I'm going to let you see up close just what these things are like. And approaching this building from the front, Today is actually a weekend day, so the inside, you can only see a small portion, but the most impressive thing is just the scale of these columns and the symbols on this building. You can see at the top, all the way around are leaves, and those are acanthus leaves Acanthus is the plant that was actually put on the head of Jesus Christ at his crucifixion, which was a thorn, which signified that he took on the thorn curse that was put on Adam in the um, garden or at the time of Genesis. So you can see in Genesis when Adam disobeyed, God said that he cursed the land and said that it would yield thorns. And Jesus took that upon himself. Well, these columns represent the king and the dominion of the king. And that is from the Bible in which the pillar, or which is also translated column, either one in the Bible, the pillars that are here, or originally the first time used in the Bible, were the pillar of fire by night and smoke by day or cloud by day that God led his people out of bondage by so he was a, a, a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night but in the pillar form and that represented God and always then after it represented God or the king and so rulers always took their oaths by the column and so the column is the king the capital or top of it is the crown of the king and you can see very clearly that it has a canthus on it which was the same crown that was on jesus christ at his crucifixion and above that are scrolls that are open which are open because in revelation 5 5 it said who is worthy to open the scroll and that was the lion of the tribe of Judah was the only one. You can read that. And so this signifies the only one that was able to do that. And you'll notice on these buildings, we have the symbol of the lion. So these are very clear indications with the symbols on these buildings of who built these buildings. and what the dominion was when these buildings were built. And that would indicate that these buildings have been here for far longer than anything we're told. And as the kingdom of Jesus Christ was prophesied in the Bible, the millennium kingdom, where he lived and reigned with his saints on earth for a thousand years, 
it would seem that the these structures this structure was that structure one of those structures that was built for his glorious kingdom in addition to the one across the street with, that all, uh, all that building and all of them have timeless construction methods that are just incredible not duplicated today but said to have been done at a time when it was just impossible to do these things given the methods that they said and the ways they said they were done just take a look at these columns these are marble and they're so massive you can see as we go around this column just one section just one section is that wide and you can see a far spread out hand you can see that as we go around these are about eight feet wide at the base and just go up and up and up and hold up the structure structure of this entire building there's 36 of them long, 590 feet across the front. The longest colonnade I read in North America and probably in the world as a straight lined colonnade. You're not gonna see anything like this anywhere else. But yet, when you read the story, it says it's the Department of Education building because the original person in charge wanted a bigger building for the Department of Education. Well, they got their wish on this. Goodness gracious. This is just massive. But the notion that this was built from scratch, square one, uh, in the early 20th century, that's another thing. It's said that this building was constructed from 1908 to 1911 and actually finished January of 1911. So barely any of that year. So that would give no more than three years and a maximum in which this building was constructed in from start to finish it says it was dedicated in 1912 but that those were the construction dates so we're talking three years of an entire marble fortress entirely marble and the inside is the same we're going to take a look at that and see what we can see right now but when you see the amount of marble that is involved at a time when we just needed a larger building for the Department of Education, does that make any sense whatsoever? And has anybody ever seen anything as grand as this with the size of marble and the size of the columns and the amount of weight who would be involved in this? You can see as we step in that this foyer is once again columns supporting the entire structure with symbols inside just like outside. These metal seemingly venting type system there are look to be completely bronze and are acanthus the same plant in fact not only is that acanthus there but up above those are acanthus that's acanthus all along is acanthus and these symbols 
um, prevail also. And you can see that this stairway is entirely marble. Not only the step itself, but below. Just a grand, grand entrance. And you can see the stairway that winds up at the top. It's a winding marble staircase that continues up. And the symbol at the top that goes to where the lights come down, which is also a canthus. And the columns all along in the same manner. Just a stone fortress of marble. And from previous buildings, I've been told that when these type of floors are put down, Every square is put in one at a time. And you can see that by looking at the way it's done. And it just goes on and on throughout the building. Who actually built this building and how long has it been here? Post your thoughts down below. I'll see you in the next video.